Hey everyone, and welcome to the second part of Minnie Mouse Amigurumi. So we already show you all the materials that you need to make Minnie Mouse Amigurumi keychains. Also, I already made this legs and the body and dress and arms from yesterday. Otherwise, if you haven't seen the previous video, you can click on the description below if you want to see the parts of the video in the begin with. By the way, if you want to see the latest creation image, you can click on the links if you'd like to see the latest image. Also, if you'd like to donate on Kofi website. So today this video, I'm going to make the head, face, ears, and bow tie, and other things. And that is it for the second part. For sure enough, that will be exactly the same as a Mickey Mouse. When you're ready for to resume it, this tutorial, Let's continue working on Minnie Mouse Amigurumi keychains. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's finish this work. Let's go. And now we will continue on working on the body into this head. We will take off the stitch mark and we will continue working on it for starting to make the head. And now for round 12. Six increases to have 12 points. That means we'll have two single crochet in the same point, each six of them, to have 12 points. Into the hook, we will take one single crochet and one more for one single crochet in the same point. That means two single crochet. And we will repeat five more increases to have 12 points. In round 13, 12 increases to have 24 points. We will have two single crochet each 12 of them to have 24 points. Round 14, three single crochet and one increase six times to have 30 points. Just want to make sure it needs to be um, nice and neat and flattened. It won't really get wrinkled. First, three single crochet in the next point. One single crochet two and three and one decrease that means two single crochet in the same point and we will repeat three single crochet and one decrease five more times to have 30 points and now for round 15 to 21 in the same point 30 single crochet we will have seven more rows All right, we're about to stop in round 21. Remember, you have to do a face exactly the same as the Mickey Mouse. That means it looks like this, okay? Make a eye face, mouth and nose face. And other things you will need, you need to make the ears. Do not forget. If you don't remember, you can click on the description below to watch Mickey Mouse part two and three, okay? I will give you about the instructions to do it yourself. I got you the subtitle. Stop the video if you need it. For the eye face with the page yarn, you will need two equals. Make a slip knot, five chains, three single crochet, one double increase two times. And round two will have five single crochet and one increase and five single crochet and one slip stitch in the end and finish off. For this cheeks, to make the same color as the page yarn, we'll have make a nose and face and mouth, slip knot, Eight chains, six single crochet, one single crochet, two half double crochet, and one single crochet in the same point to make a one triple increase. You will need two times. And round two will have eight single crochet, one increase, eight single crochet, and the end, one slip a stitch, and finish off. And we will need four equals will have to make the black yarn. For the ears with the magic ring, eight single crochet. And the round two will have to take the first layer in the same time as the second layers and eight increases to have 16 points. And that is it. This is very easy and fast to make. And now let's go for the next step. And now I already have everything what I need for cheeks, eye face, and the ears. Remember, you have to paste it using a hot glue gun. First, you have to put the face eyes and then we can placing this cheeks. Remember, paste it, and we'll be back in just a few more minutes because I'm going to just skip the clip. 
Then I already finished uh, making this eye face. And also, everything I got is I placing the eyes and nose. And now we will continue on working on the head. In round 22, three single crochet and one degrease, six times to have 24 points. First three single crochet. One, two, and three. And one degrees, two single crochet together. And we will repeat three single crochet and one degrees five more times to have 24 points. And now put some stuff inside this head. Put a lot of stuff. Just make sure it needs to be a filling up with this fiber. Put a lot of stuff inside. Once you're filling out the stuffing inside the head, and we will continue working on the head. In round 23, two single crochet and one degree six times to have 18 points. One, two, and one degree. And we will repeat two single crochet and one degree five more times to have 18 points. Round 24, one single crochet and one degree six times to have 12 points. One single crochet and one degree. And we will repeat one single crochet and one degree five more times to have 12 points. I think I need to put a little bit more stuff inside. I just want to be sure it has to be a, a fully, fully stuffing inside in this head. Just filling up a lot of them, okay? It looks like it's going to be a perfect all of the stuffing. That means that's good for now one. And now we will continue working on the head. In the last round, in round 25, six decreases to have six points. That means we'll have two single crochet together, each six of them, to have six points. At this point, we will do finish off. Cut the yarn and leave a little bit of long tail to close the hole. Well, you so will, you know, they're gonna be first sometimes. After this, you have to take off the stitch mark. Just because I'm going to the closet, into the needle, I have to go the first strand at least six more times to completely closed. And once you get it completely closed, now go ahead, you can do the finish off right in the middle of that magic grain in the end. Now you can cut it off and that is it. Now for I'm going to join the ears. I'm going to do the both of the ears. I'm going to do it by itself. We'll be right back in just a few minutes. And I already got the join in the ears and the sew it over point by point. Now for the next thing you know, I'm going to, to sew it the arms. I'm going to do it by itself for one another for making the arms. Remember, you have to join in the tails and don't forget, you have to round eight approximately here. We'll be right back just a few more minutes once again. And I already got all everything what I need. So you can see that a white gemstone in the middle of that dress. Look at that one. That is very, very, very cute. There's only one thing that we have one missing. We will make bow tie for Minnie Mouse. And the last step will have white eye pupils. Okay? So now, I'm gonna show you how to crochet this bow tie. For this bow tie with the pink yarn. Just gonna have only one round. We'll have a magic ring. We'll have five chains. One, two, three, four, and five. Then three triple crochet. Wrap around the hook twice. Then insert the hook, you have to go to the middle of the ring. And then take the loop, yarn over, pull through two. And again, yarn over, pull through two. And the last one will have yarn over, pull through two. And that is it. What we'll do finish for that two triple increase. All right? After the third triple crochet, we will have five chains and one slip stitch. And we will repeat five chains, three triple crochet, five chains and one slip stitch one more time. This will be the end of this round. Just be sure it needs to be a close a magic ring very, very tightly, okay? At this point, finish off. 
Cut the yarn and leave a little bit of the long tail to sew in to sew the bow tie on her hair. First, we will do the wrap around in the middle of the bow tie. That's two and three and four and five. And I think that's good for now one. And now we can go ahead, you can tie it up to make a double knotted, always a secured. And I'm going to place the bow tie to where we have in here for her ears goes right behind the bow tie. And I'm going to use a wool needle. And now I'm going to start insert the needle. Go ahead, you can sew it over point by point, always in the middle of the bow tie, okay? I forgot to mention, I already made her mouth embroidered. I kept forgetting, but it's fine. By the way, I don't recommend it to use hot glue gun for that reason. It will get messing all over by glue sticks for this bow tie. It's better to seam it for her bow tie. It looks absolutely cute. Well, the truth is, her bow tie is so perfect size for me. It remains to have the same size as a Mickey Mouse. So, I already finished making bow tie. Look at this one, she's so gorgeous. And I would love to show you that I will join the key ring for this very good combination. I can cut it off. And now for the last step I'm going to make for joining this pink yarn to very good combination. We'll go insert the needle and join it together. You have to make the three times of the knotted. But we are approximately done. And now I'm going to attach the pink key ring and we're all done. <laughs> and here is the result of Minnie Mouse and Mikurumi key ring. Oh my goodness, it's so adorable. I really love it. And here is the Mickey Mouse. Look at those. That looks really adorable. What a perfect relationship. That is so perfect relationship for me. Well, guys, that is it, guys. I just got made it for this and everything we'll have to make. It has the head and the face and eyes and nose and tail and the bow tie and also the king ring hook. And that is it, guys. That is it. Wow. That was the first time for the, the movie I ever made it for, for what I done for. Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse. Pretty remains that it is really exactly the same as the size as Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse. I told you so. That is so, so, so adorable. For the next tutorial, Amigurumi, I will about to go back to the video game characters for sure. And the next time for the cartoon Amigurumi, I will decide to make Bugs Bunny from Looney Tunes. And come back next time for more cartoon characters Amigurumi. If you haven't uh, subscribed yet, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to click on the like button, subscribe, and share the video with your friends down below. By activating the bell, you will receive the notification whenever I upload a new video. If you'd like to do supporting on the social medias, what are you waiting for? You can click on the links if you'd like to see more images of Amigurumi, crochet dolls, other things, and much more. And also, if you want to donation, you can click on the link and comments below on Kofi website. Visit on the website kofi.com slash Laura Hernandez 46687. And don't forget, threads.net slash at 96 and instagram.com slash 96 Thank you very much for watching. And remember, be creative and be happy. Until next time, everybody. Goodbye and peace out.